Hey, how is everybody doing? Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Tom Cheswick and welcome to my channel. Today we are editing a wedding image quickly in Luminar Neo. So here's the image that uh, we're going to work on. And here is a quick look of what we're going to do. And this is the image that we started with. It was a natural light portrait of a bride and groom out on the golf course in Paradise Valley. That's Camelback Mountain in the background. And we went from here to here to really make the bride and groom pop and make the setting a little bit more dramatic. So let's see how I quickly edited this image. I'm gonna right click on the image, go to adjustments and revert to the original. We could go into presets, but we're the way I normally work is straight into the edit tab. It is a raw image, so I do have access to develop raw. If you're working with a JPEG, it's just going to be called develop. Or if you use any other tool first, like a popular one is enhance, you go in use enhance. You'll notice now we only have develop. We don't have develop raw, so it doesn't have all uh, 12 bits of the raw data anymore. To undo that, we could just come up to edit and reset everything. Okay, so after resetting enhance, notice we do have develop raw. Again, it's just allowing us to work with more data which is going to be helpful if we have to bring back any highlights in our exposure. The first step is to pick a camera profile. I'm going to go through, we can take a look at some of these, see how they're affecting it. Um, landscape is pretty saturated. Standard is okay, faithful is flat, but we could use that as the base and work on it. Neutral is pretty nice. I think I'm going to go with portrait for this one. So right off the bat, it's looking pretty good. I'm going to hit the letter J to show the highlights. I mentioned this is an available light portrait. So when you're exposing for the skin tones, your skies are going to just be overexposed. That's not a problem, especially in this image, since we're going to uh, swap the sky. But we do have some blown highlights on the dress. Just come up to the highlights, bring that down a bit. That's looking good there. Next, I want to um, adjust the black points. And that's looking really nice there. That just gives us a real nice contrast for the image. Next, I'm going to hit the letter J again, get rid of the highlights warning. And so far, we've gone from here to here. Not a lot being done, but that's okay. That's not where the main corrections are going to be. Next is to take care of some of the things that are bothering me. So under erase, these little markers. Let's just get them out of here holding down the space bar so I can move around the image with the hand tool. And now let's get rid of the golfers. Get rid of this guy. And finally, these two dots in the background. Hit erase. Everything looks great. Let's go back to fit screen. And everything is coming up really well. Then click out of erase, go back into develop, except this is a new develop, almost a layer. You'll see that it's going to show up on top. So we see developer off, erase, so it's going to be a new one called develop. Once we're done here, for this one, all I want to do is make this mountain a little bit darker. So it's not so close to their skin tones. So let's take a look at how I do that. And that's with masking and mask AI. Let Luminar Neo do its magic. I 
it picks out everything in the image. I'm going to have it select mountain. And it did a nice job. It actually clipped a little bit of the bride and groom's hair. So we'll correct for that. And we can do that with the brush and erase. So that looks great. Now let's go adjust the mountain. And all I'm going to do is just bring it down just a little bit, right? So it's not competing with their skin tone. It's actually framing them a little bit better. So before, after, it looks awesome. Again, if we go into the edits, we'll see now there's two develops. So with Luminar Neo, you can use the adjustments the tools as often as you want and we'll just stack on top of each other finally we're going into sky it shows you what it thinks is looks great i always like to pick a sky close to the time of the day that the photo is taken and that's going to give you the most believable results and in this case something like a blue sky will look awesome And the one I picked actually is working really nice. So let's just go with that. The only change we're going to do is under sky adjustments. Going to slightly defocus that. Actually, those clouds are pretty defocused already. If they were really sharp clouds, I would defocus them. And finally, let's look at the brightness and just bring it up just a touch. All right, final step. Let's see how that crop is looking. We could bring up a little bit here. And that's looking awesome right there. We'll accept that. We went from here to here and just a few easy steps. Now, bonus tip. Let's go back to the catalog. If we worked on one image, all we have to do is highlight our next image over shot in the same time, right click, adjustments, sync adjustments, and it's going to take all the work we did on this image for the sky, the mountain, the develop, and apply it here. And look at that. Very cool. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Tom Cheswick. Be sure to like, subscribe, and join me on my next edit.